It's a playoff matchup area fans have dreamed about for years. Guardians v Tigers. Game two of the ALDS and Steve Iwanek, he is in Cleveland, had a chance to talk with some fans, joins us now live. Steve, take it away. Well, Jeff, we have spent all afternoon talking with fans about their excitement coming to the ballpark to watch their favorite teams compete in the playoffs. But when it's playoff time, this is also a big deal in Cleveland, not just for fans, but also for the businesses downtown. And one of those businesses that is a big recipient of love when you come downtown for baseball, it's a thirsty parrot right here. And I'm joined by the manager of hospitality restaurants who owns Thirsty Parrot, Chris Neal. And Chris, this isn't your first rodeo with playoff time in Cleveland for sports, but you guys have a prime location. Right across the street is Progressive Field. This is the first place that people see when they leave the ballpark. What is it like having all kinds of fans, both Detroit and Cleveland downtown, for a playoff series for your guys' this restaurant? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, um, Cleveland likes to show off. We, we have a lot of pride in our city, so we love to host. Um, you know, this is tremendous. This is a tremendous opportunity for businesses, vendors, restaurants, shops. You know, everybody counts on this revenue during the season, but, you know, when it's playoff time in October and we can get into the playoffs, uh, it's tremendous, and it's great energy for the whole city. You know, I'm from Cleveland, so I understand what the, the fan base is like for their teams, but not this isn't Oakland coming to town. This no. isn't the L.A. Angels. This is Detroit. They're just two and a half hours away from Cleveland. So what is it like having a close matchup in terms of geography to help your guys' business? Well, it's kind of it's, it's really uh, fantastic to be so close to certain cities because when they come into town, you share certain work ethic. You know, you're kind of like they're from Detroit, we're from Cleveland. So there's a lot of familiarity. Um, people are very friendly to each other here. Um, you know, and it's different when you have people traveling across country you don't really know a lot of people, but we see a lot of repeat fans. They come into the city. They might come two or three times because we're so close. Well, Chris, I know you guys are going to continue to have great success. You've been here for a long time, ever since I've grown up here, and we'll see what happens when this ends. So no score yet at Progressive Field. It's been a pitcher's duel, but we'll see what happens in the next couple of innings from Cleveland. But live here in downtown Cleveland, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11.